Yo, what's going on guys? This is Win and welcome back to another video. Obviously, I'm not in my regular setup. We are traveling for the holidays, but you know we had to get one more PUBG Mobile video out before the end of the year. We're probably going to get a lot more videos out than just one, but we have the Glacier UMP, the third ever Glacier gun, the true third ever Glacier gun to enter PUBG Mobile besides the M4, as we all know, and the AKM. This looks incredible, and of course, it has an ultimate set as well. So let's hop in and check out this brand new Lucky Spin inside of PUBG Mobile, and you you know we are going to be absolutely maxing out this UMP one way or another. The last opening for the X suit was so lucky, we ended up with over 70 materials. I've already maxed another gun, we still have 45 of those materials left over, so we're getting this UMP max, baby, okay? Let's check it out and watch this beautiful cutscene. There it is, the new ultimate set. Oh, okay, now there's that's what everybody's looking for right there, the UMP. It's not a bad ultimate either, I won't lie. Oh man. That is super cool. Now, one of the things I love about this UMP is that even if you just get the base version unlocked, it looks so good. I'm not even talking about final form. I'm talking about basic form. This looks even more frozen than the M4 and the AKM when they're maxed out. And this is just basic appearance. This is the final form and it even has like this frosty kind of effect on it, which looks super good. But we will check this out in just a minute because before we get into the opening and spending hundreds of dollars, I of course would not be able to do that without today's sponsor, Arena Breakout. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Arena Breakout. I'm sure by now you've heard that Arena Breakout is a next gen realistic looter shooter with thrilling action and insane graphics. But I wanted to share with you some things that you might not know about the game. Did you know that every season we get awesome new game modes? Whether it's the fast-paced urban combat of Northridge Rush, the foggy fields of storm warning mode on farm, or the most recent Northridge isolation mode where you spawn with only a pistol and try to extract on that last helicopter. There is always something new for players to enjoy and master. And you know, we love skins on this channel. Well, Arena Breakout has some really fun and cool cosmetics each season for their weapons and gear. I love these skins because they're unique and colorful, but they still keep the realism that Arena Breakout is known for. They just dropped some new cosmetics for the holiday season, so check them out. If you're looking for a new shooter experience to try on mobile, make sure you download Arena Breakout with the link in the description and start your journey today. Thanks again to Arena Breakout for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. All right, let's get straight into it. And thanks again to Arena Breakout for sponsoring today's video. Let's do our first of the day and see if we can get any luck on the first pull, my friends. No, that's, I, I don't think that's what we want. Yeah, a little popularity ring. Okay, that's not what we're going for. Real quick, though, one thing I want to show you guys is if we look at the rewards in the gem shop, there is a really sick lobby background for only two gems. I definitely want to pick this up. Now, you're going to notice some parts about this gun kind of give off some, like, Game of Thrones type of vibes. I mean, look at the loot crate. Doesn't that remind you of that throne of, like, swords from Game of Thrones? This looks sick, so we definitely have to max this out. I'm actually really happy that this isn't a uh, glorious moment. Just seven tiers, nothing too crazy. But we don't want to waste any more time. Let's get going with the sets of ten. And let's see this, you know, cool animation. See if anything cool pops up in the first set of ten. No. Well, not that bad. We got some of the little gems. We got one of the big gems. I saw some of my YouTuber friends. They're pulling this Glacier UMP like first couple sets of 10 pretty early on. We do have one gem. I mean, if we just wanted to get even that lobby background, that's like half the background right there. Of course, we have a luck meter too. So we should be getting tons of these big gems throughout the opening. And we even get a big gem at 250. Wait, whoa, whoa. I, I just opened a set of 10. Did you, you heard that, right? I clicked it. It did the thing. Where's the stuff? Where's this? Where's the stuff? Did I just get scammed? Oh! Okay, I just tapped the screen. I'm like, I know it's in there, bro! Alright, we got the Chili Perch Glider. So we did get something. I was like, alright, are you gonna actually let me see what I get this time? Thank you! Alright, I'm like, do the animation, bro. 
that doesn't look like a whole lot of anything. I do see an angled foregrip, though, which is not bad. So we can get some of the parts, the, some of the attachments for the gun. We can actually get them here in the spin. Uh, we're going to hit skip animation and start ripping and dipping these, my friends. I only loaded up, like, one stack, by the way. So I think we can get this. Like I said, I have so many materials. If we just get the gun, we can max it pretty much right away. There's another gem, and there is the Molotov. Something I forgot to mention was that this gun, like a lot of the recent guns, has a linked throwable. So if we max out any of this UMP, those effects like the Elimination Broadcast, even the Loot Crate, will also apply to this Molotov. So yes, I could set someone on fire, and their dead body will be made out of ice. Makes perfect sense, right? Of course. Let's keep going. Another set of 10. We got the Glider. We got the Molly. We need the UMP. We got a couple of these gemstones, which, you know, we're not going to need a whole lot of those. Even if we have to go buy the ultimate with gemstones, that's not going to be that bad. But, you know, I should probably not get too far ahead of myself here because we only have one stack. We did get a material in there, which is not bad. But like I said, that's one of the things we don't actually need for once. Like, I... I in five and a half, six years of PUBG Mobile, I can't ever remember going into an opening saying, I don't need materials. That's literally never happened. This is kind of uncharted territory here. So let's just see what we get and then kind of figure it out from there. Another material, that's, I don't need that. I need the gemstones. Or actually, you know what, better yet, PUBG Mobile, I have an idea. I have an idea. How about you give me the ultimate? Just get right now. We don't have to buy it. You can just give it to me. We can do this the easy way, all right? I'm gonna press 10 more. And I'm going to get the ultimate outfit. No. Okay, close. You're getting closer. Warmer. I know this is a frozen spin, but you're getting warmer. Okay, not bad. That's going to convert. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That only converts to three little gems, bro. You're tripping. Another material. Whoa, what is this? Oh, that's a backpack. Frosty snow globe. Backpack. I'm actually kind of curious to see what that looks like. So let's actually check out this ultimate on beautiful Victor here. So this is what she looks like. Not bad. I like the hair. Kind of getting more like Frozen Elsa vibes. Even the Pharaoh backpack looks fire on this ultimate. But we got to check out the backpack, the Frosty Snow Globe backpack. It looks like a giant Christmas ornament. So we got the level 1, the level 2, and the level 3. Not bad. And of course, if you've never gotten the Glacier M4, I know, hard to believe. I know some kids still in my chat are like, I've been playing this game for 17 years. I have not gotten the Glacier. Well, now's your chance. I don't know how much they cost down there. My guess is three gems, but this might be the easiest way to get the Glacier M4. I know this is all about the Glacier UMP, but if you want to get the Glacier M4 or the AKM, they are there in the shop. We also have an emo too. Let's see what she's got. Nice. That's actually pretty sick. I love how she brings out the sword. I think we got the canted sight there. We're only down to 3,000 UC, man. We got the uh, little half grip, another conversion there for the Molotov, another icy gem. Keep them flowing. Another icy gem. Looks like we also got the quick draw mag in there. I saw that that said that converts to a paint. That is one thing we are going to need a lot of is paint. So we're good on materials, not so much on the paint side of things, unfortunately. Now, there it is. We ran out of UC, but good news is... We now have all of the side prizes. So we're going to go ahead and get a baby material. An Azure Flake ornament. Okay. We also get an avatar frame. Get another material. Why not? You know, we'll just put it towards the next gun. And another icy gem. So after just pretty much like one and a half stacks of UC, we're sitting pretty good on seven gems. All right, little bit of UC right there. That ought to do it, isn't it? All right, not a draw 10. Don't forget, I am traveling, by the way. So if you're like, when Sammy, why does your camera look bad? Why does your microphone sound like you're inside of a microwave? That's because I'm just using this little headset mic, dude. It's, it's, we don't have the fancy setup, okay? I'm sitting at my girlfriend's mom's house, dude. I'm just, you know? <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, man. I spent that that fat. We didn't get anything. What? All right, so we have 10 gems, right? Now, what? Like, how many do I need for everything? So if we want to get all this stuff, the top row and that right like column, we need 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 and 3 is 11, 11 plus 1 is 12. We need 14 total to get the ultimate, ultimate headpiece, UMP, emo, and the back row. We need 14. We're at 10. So we're pretty close regardless. So we're just going to keep opening a little bit more. See if we get lucky. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, no. Okay. Well, back to back's not bad. All right. Two more. I need two more. No. Uh, no. 
Also N. That is N. Wow, you're giving me garbage. What is with all of this garbage? There it is, I see gem number 13. And the material, fantastic. We need one more to complete everything. No. No. Why you do this, PUBG? No. You're making me spend the whole stack. The whole stack, you. And that's it, we're out. Man, this was such an unlucky opening, dude. But there, we've got everything. We don't need to open anymore because the rest of the UC, we're going to have to put towards all the freaking paint, bro. But still, 551 prizes drawn to technically get everything is not bad at all. That's actually far better than what it typically takes. So here we go. We're doing it all. We have the Winter Highness set acquired. Ultimate in the inventory, baby. Got it. Okay. Looking good. Let's just throw that on right now. We've got our little uh, French cap on the, the baguette. Yes, we oui, oui. Ha <laughs> Got that. Nice. Very nice. Okay. What is that called? A beret? That the is a beret. It is French. And there it is. The Cryofrost Shard. UMP 45. They couldn't just call it the Glacier. They had to go over the top and call it the Cryofrost Shard. Whatever. It's it's getting called the Glacier PUBG, okay? That's what everybody's calling it, all right? We got it, though. We also have this emote we checked out, and I really am saving the best for last. I'm the most excited to see what this Civilization Wonder lobby theme looks like. Looks pretty sick. We're going to hit equip now, and drum roll, please. Let's check it out. Ooh, damn. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. Do the castle in the back with the clouds. It's a little bit frozen, but it also is like the beach. Kind of reminds me of like the hot springs on Livic, if, if I'm being honest. So here we go. We also have our lovely lady here on the lobby, the brand new ultimate. I don't believe I put on her little beret. So we got that as well. Now, can I wear like a mask? I'm just curious. No, I knew it. dude. I was going to say, I wonder, I bet if as soon as you put on a mask, it's naked Victor underneath that, unfortunately. So we're going to have to uh, pop her back on there. Yeah, so no masks with the ultimate, unfortunately. Now, we still have business to take care of, my friends. We're going to the SMGs. Let's pop on UMP. So I really didn't have many good UMPs, let alone any with a loot crate. In fact, for the most most of the time, I was bumming it with this anniversary one because this was, it's not a gun lab, but it has the loot crate and all that stuff. But now we finally officially have a good UMP 45, the Cryo Frost Shard. Dude, now look right that then and there, that looks maxed. It literally looks like it's done. That's only the basic form. So we got to go to upgrade. And we have a decent amount of paint. We're still packing 50 materials. So let's get that elimination special effect. That's crazy. That literally looks like a glorious moment. Freaking ice coming out of it. It's not just smoke. It's ice and a snowflake. So let's get that. Two materials. Special effect. Advanced form is already looking pretty frosty, dude. Look at that. Boom. Let's grab it. Elimination broadcast. Let's get that as well. Hit effect. Now, this is a really big thing that people love. The hit effect also looking really good. But it looks a little different than the Glacier M4. The Glacier M4 is just kind of like a white, like, you know, like smoke kind of thing. But this actually has, like, ice particles. And last but not least, we have the final form. We'll check out the inspection emo in just a second. So let's go in and make sure we didn't forget any attachments, which, oh my goodness, yes, we did. Hold on a minute. We actually have to go and get all of these. Let's get the light grip. We need the laser sight. The vertical foregrip. Now we need to get all the muzzles. So we got the angled. We got the thumb grip. Uh, what is this? The compensator? Yes. Compensator, suppressor. We need the flash hider. What is this? The long? Is this a long barrel? No. It's, oh, that's a mag. That's an extended mag. Okay. Let's get the extended mag. And then uh, I love how they just put every scope on every gun. They even got the 6X on here. Like, people are actually out here using a freaking... UMP 6X, bro. I mean, you know, I guess if you bring it back to a 3, there's nothing wrong with that. But we actually have a real 3X that doesn't get enough love. I feel like the 3X gets overshadowed by its big brother, the 6X. And there it is. Now we finally have all of the attachments. Okay, workshop the lab. We just bought some paint. Back into the Cryofrost Shard. And now we have just enough. So let's get the final form equipped here and upgraded. And, of course, that loot crate that we checked out a minute ago. And... I'm not too disappointed at all, man. I think we still have like 25 materials left over for whatever comes out in the shop next. But we now have a maxed UMP glacier gun with a uh, Molotov that's linked with it as well. You can also throw on a couple attachments here and just look at how this thing gets so insanely glacierified. 
Even the mags, dude. That's so crazy. And the grips. Dude, that that is nasty, dude. That looks like that looks insane. It looks like something out of Call of Duty. I'm not gonna lie. They have some crazy guns over there, dude. And you can even see like some of the like components. Like look at the mechanical parts on the inside of the gun. Can you see that? You could actually see like the springs and like all the different mechanisms that fire the bullets. That's crazy. What is this? He added my logo. Wins room work in progress. Sorry for the inconvenience. What is he making? All right, we got double UMPs. Let's get some attachments going. So let's check out the scopes. We've got a uh, we got a red dot. Nice. Hollow. Let's see. Two uh, X. Well, that looks good. Oh, even the two X is like chiseled and frozen. That's sick. We've also got the 3X. Yeah, same kind of thing. 4X. Ooh, that looks good, man. Even the Glacier M4 4X doesn't look that good. And, of course, the 6. Nice. All right, so uh, I'm just going to shoot this fine gentleman right here. Oh, look at the hit effect. Oh, the hit effect's crazy. Yo. Wait, that's actually fire. And you know what? Actually, one thing we have not checked out at all thus far was actually the weapon inspection. Wow, okay, that's sick. Yeah, we never got to check that out. Look at the hit. Oh my god, the hit effect is wild. This hit effect is actually wild. Wow, all right. Well, that is quite the emote. All right, I wonder what it looks like if we do the like inspection with the 6X. Looks so good, man. Wow. It even matches my overlay, dude. We got the whole, like, Glacier overlay going on, too. So, there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching the new Glacier UMP and Ultimate fully maxed out, and it looks incredible. Like I said, I am traveling, so sorry for not as much gameplay right now, but I am enjoying the holidays with family. So, I hope you guys will do the same, and thanks again to Arena Breakout for sponsoring today's video. And as always, I will see you guys next time.